Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for Sunday, September 11th, 2021 um, here in the States. I'm saying that like I know a lot of people from overseas, but um, you know, it's 9-11 today. So take a moment, um, breathe, relax. It's, you know, always a um, more emotional day as we remember and give respect to all the people that lost their lives during 9-11. Um, 11 is the number for being of service. So how can we be a service to ourselves as well as be a service to others and also like, you know, appreciate those who are a service to us, right? And in service in any way, you know, it could be your waitress, it could be, you know, the your retail worker, it could be the person that fills your oil up at, you know, the oil change place. It's appreciating all those people too, and that they have a purpose in our life and they all serve us and we can serve them by just being nice and being a genuine human and knowing that we are all going through a tough time. And I feel like that's kind of what just like today represents is that, you know, there are tough things going on out there. But when we are a service to ourselves and take care of our own needs, that we can then be a service to others, right? And we can then be a good human that offers good things back, especially today when, we're, when we, you know, we're remembering something very traumatic and terrible that happened, you know? Today we have the Hanged Man and the Page of Swords in reverse. That's really interesting. We talked about them both yesterday. So really turn that frown upside down. Do they both flip? Yeah, wow, interesting. See this perspective. With the hangman this way, there's something that we need to surrender. There's something that we need to let go. And there's something that we need to transform. When we're looking at him upright like this, he needed to take some time by himself. You know, his community of people around him <laughs> hung him upside down because they were annoyed by him and his actions and his decisions and what he was doing and how he was running around the town. He wasn't participating as a pretty, you know, a nice active person of society. He's being a fool. He was, you know getting into some mischief, allowing his thoughts to be very low vibrational, very fear-based, very survival, very, you know, victim, everybody against me. Um, again, like foolish activity. And with this, he needed to take some time to himself. He needed to think about what's been going on, the patterns that he's involved in and the behavior that he interacts with, and to really examine what he desires. And if his way of living right now is aligned with who he sees himself to be. And if it's two different versions, then we need to, we need to bring him closer, baby, because he's dressed in this blue and blue shirt, red bottoms and blue being like your intuition is ignited in this time. And it really is. We're in this like very, um, highly charged intuitive time where a lot of us are really getting these hits and these downloads. And so we could be thinking that these fear-based thoughts and these behaviors that we're interacting with are coming with our intuition, but we're actually kind of, we are actually kind of twisting it in a way that's not helpful, that's beneficial. And that's kind of, again, playing into that more victim mentality where we're allowing these things, which I feel like that's kind of like the page of swords here to get the best of us. And the point of it is to really see how that behavior affects our desires and affects, you know, us really getting from point A to point B. And so that's okay. Today, we just need to take a second, a step back and look at what we want, where we're going and how we're thinking about things so that we can flip this up, upside down and that we can be back in this high vibe state where we're meditating, we're feeling good, maybe we're journaling and we are allowing ourselves to move forward. Right here, the, maybe we got scared yesterday of the emotions that came back up. So we like, whoop, uh, mm. I'm not moving forward. I'm interacting with it. That kept me safe. That behavior where I pushed everybody away, I kept myself guarded and I didn't want to move forward. And, you know, maybe in my emotions, um, that's good. That made me feel safe. I feel comfortable there, right? Because it's this uncomfortable feeling we feel by when we are confronted by all these things that maybe we need to work on or these emotions that pop up, especially if we're not used to diving into our emotions and we're not used to looking at different I don't know why I'm going to say like levels of intimacy within ourselves and other people. That can be scary, right? Um, then we have this page of swords and I feel in reverse and I feel like that is just kind of like, look at them, they're both upside down. And this is just like that victim mentality. But with the page of swords being in reverse, he's like, he's just unsure how to communicate. And I don't know if that's speaking to somebody out here. This could be somebody in our life, uh, um, air sign, Gemini, Libra. 
um, Aquarius, or we can just be talking about the Mercury retrograde going on in Gemini right now. And is that just like communications off and even communication with ourselves. And so that may be what is pushing, putting us in this really weird space of being unsure on how to move forward. But the gift in the day is to be able to acknowledge that we're not communicating properly, being able to acknowledge that maybe we're not taking the initiative to learn more about communicating, learn more about our ideas, learn more about how we can do something with them. And instead we're just kind of sitting in this place and letting, allowing them to ruminate. Um, when the bottom, we have the Six of Swords and the Hermit. And it's this you know, invitation to move forward after we've come out of this time that we needed to tune, tune in, turn in and reconnect with who we are and what our purpose is. And I feel like that's kind of like the basis of what this Mercury retrograde is going to be. We're gonna feel like maybe we want to Hermit a little bit because the things that are popping up are really intense. We're still going to move forward. We're still going to see success. We still have an opportunity to retrieve everything that we want. But that comes after, you know, we stand up for ourselves to ourselves. And we no longer become the martyr of our situations. We become the leader of them. And we take the step to move forward. But this page of swords, it's like cutting through the bullshit messaging that we're telling ourselves, that we're allowing ourselves to feed into. Maybe that's on Instagram or TikTok or, you know, on Twitter and the podcasts that we listen to and the things that we're allowing our, you know, the, the content we're allowing to live in our brain rent free. And maybe we need to start charging rent for some things because there's some stuff that we need to turn around. It's okay that we might be feeling down today, but don't push, don't be hard on yourself and pay attention and be intentional on the way that we interact with others today. That's all. So it's going to feel tough. It's going to feel heavy. This is the one where I'm like, oh my God, it's an exciting day. We're going to get a lot out of it. You're going to get a lot. You are. We're not going to feel it for other people. This is a personal growth day because only you can take yourself out of this space. There's going to be nothing that anybody can do and need that they're going to fill. You have to be able to identify this within you. Okay. We can do it. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't, the cards wouldn't be presenting us this, this thing today if we weren't ready for it and if our soul wasn't ready to grow in that way. So step up, stand up, and be willing to, you know, dive in for you. Dive in because you love yourself. Dive in because you love your dreams. Dive in because you believe in what you can create here. Nobody else needs to believe it but you. They'll, they, they, that'll happen. That'll, the people that'll come that need to, that want to believe it, that believe in you, they're all coming. They're all here. It's already in your vortex. It's already being happened. It's manifesting, okay? But you need to believe it and be it before others believe it and be it. It's, you know, when we're, when we're, it's like the operating in the backwards way where we need everybody else to validate us before we can be ourselves, but it's like pushing us to be yourself first and then let people and then have the validation come in. Maybe not even that, it doesn't even need valid. But then have like the support and the celebration. That's what I wanna call it. Um, so we have the hangman, 12 plus one is 13. One plus three is four. Wow, we're really bringing it back. Last Sunday we had four and today we have four. So it is again, stability, structure, security. It's the emperor and the tarot. It's leading your life in the space that it's created. Today we're surrendering, we're letting go, we're creating space so that loving, you know, conscious relationship with ourself can really come in there's a loving comfort this loving conscious relationship with other people with our work with what we see and the security we have in our life can take space right so we can be the leader and we can be authoritative in our life and be not i don't want to say dictator or critical but tell ourselves you know the truth authentically exactly straight up what it is and it doesn't need to be harsh and it doesn't need to be blunt and we don't need to be hard and mean to ourselves it's just what do I need to let go of? What's staring me in the face right now? And what can I get out of the way of? Okay? So I'm going to leave it. I love you guys. I hope you have a great Sunday. Get outside. Get some sun on that forehead. Really fill up that source, especially if you're feeling that way. Take a moment. Get creative. Maybe read a book. Maybe paint a picture. If you're feeling that emotion and you don't know how to get it out, find a way to express it differently. You know, maybe that is writing a poem or playing with your tarot cards. Something that helps build that connection so we don't turn away from ourselves and shut that off. That's what we're, we're, we're pushing ourselves out of. So I love you. I hope you have a great day. If you'd like to know more about me, what I have going on, or you'd like to book a tarot reading, you can go to ashleyrose.com. You can follow me on Instagram. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. The links are in the description, and I'll see you tomorrow for the daily tarot reading.